Happy Monday in Missouri. Our satellite radar this morning about 7 a.m. showing clear skies. It's also showing high pressure back to the east. That's important for the forecast this week because it kind of dominates everything. We pick up chances for rain over the next seven days, but they're isolated and they're very slim. Some of us may not see rain at all in the next seven days. If you do, we're looking at less than a quarter of an inch, looking very dry. Uh, our first chance for rain peaks on Wednesday. You can see our dew points peak at about 60 on Wednesday. That's going to be just enough to get a little bit of rain, maybe a pop up thunderstorm or two. This morning we've had some patchy fog that's largely cleared at this point. Patios I suspect are going to be full by lunchtime where temperatures we've got temperatures at the mid 70s by around noon. And then we're crossing that 80 degree mark by the time we get to about three or four o'clock. Heading into the evening hours that starts to really kind of cool down. We're back into the 60s overnight tonight, into the 50s by early tomorrow morning, and we're starting to warm back again, just like we did today on Tuesday, except a little bit faster. We're in the 80s, just barely by around noon, and then by Tuesday afternoon, we're in the low 80s. So again, overall, we're a few degrees warmer on your Tuesday. Now, heading into Tuesday night, you may have already seen, may have already noticed some moisture trying to work in from south of St. Louis. This moisture is going to lead to a few isolated showers and storms Wednesday morning into Tuesday. What's happening here is we're seeing moisture kind of get wrapped around this high pressure and it's kind of pushing back here into mid-Missouri. Now, that's only going to be temporary. It's going to be short-lived. These isolated storms are going to get pushed away. This cold front off towards Springfield and Peoria, that's what we call a backdoor cold front. It's just moving in from a different direction. You may have noticed that we saw showers and all that moisture move in from an odd direction, the southeast. Normally it's the west, southwest. Uh, well, it's because of that high that's moving that moisture in. This cold front is that high pushing that moisture on out. And so things are going to dry out as high pressure kind of pushes that moisture back towards the west heading into Thursday. So we get one slim chance of rain. It's not today. Today we're dry. We're near 80. But as we head into middle parts of the week, we're going to see Wednesday kind of peak that chance for rain. It starts as soon as Tuesday night, that PM rain. That's for late Tuesday night. Your Tuesday's dry. Wednesday, we see a split chance for a morning shower and an afternoon storm. And then this gets out of here, I think, in time that we don't see another round on Thursday. Friday, we're dry. Saturday looks mostly dry. Sunday, well, we're starting to look at chances for rain start to peak back up again. And there is some uncertainty with exactly how the end of the weekend pans out. Uh, but right now, it, there is a chance for rain. So we're going to keep that in the forecast. Looks like things could start to warm as well.